This week, school starts up and Friday Night Lights will kick on all over green country. So we thought parents might need a little Pinot treat to start this week's Explore Tulsa. Then big hugs in a blanket. Followed by where princesses go to play. Plus, Grand's Jukebox Hero. Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. Glad to have you back with us for this week's Explore Tulsa. Oh man, it's been busy at our house. My wife has been getting ready for all of her students to make it back to school this week. Oh, what do you do to help her? Like put school supplies in order, sharpen pencils, or prepare lessons? Ooh, I call Tracia and the ladies at Artisan Fine Wines and Spirits to let me know just which glass of stress reliever to offer first. Mm. I import wines that I want to share with people that live in Oklahoma that we don't have here and I think, oh, we need to, we need to try this. My family from Oklahoma are originally farmers and I had never had an interest in farming, but because I started drinking wine, you know, going out to dinner, uh, once I took a trip with my husband out to Napa, Sonoma, we both fell in love with those wines and then learning more about the farming just became strangely intriguing to me. Well, it's kind of funny because I never intended to do this, but I started working and selling wine 14 years ago and just became more and more interested in it. But then I decided, you know, there's a lot of boys in, in Tulsa specifically that are certified Psalms. And I said, well, if they can do that, I'm gonna do that. And then I decided, well, there's no distributors here that I think are really more focused on family-owned brands. And I was just complaining about the whole thing and someone said, well, why don't you do something about it? I think the thing that excited her is she finally found her thing. Um, you know, the career that really made her happy because she got to do what she wanted to do for the first time. And so that made me excited and made me excited to maybe do the same thing, you know, in the future. I hired Erin originally and she's another certified sommelier female in the state. Sommelier is an expert in wine, not only at knowledge of wine, but actually be able to communicate to the guest and find what they like, what they're looking for, and execute the service that goes with that. Well, in the beginning when we just had five brands, I was overwhelmed with that, and now that we have over like 40, it's just insane how fast we've grown. Wine is such a personal, um, passion. So for everyone it's very different. I mean it's just like a favorite food. I think um, in general when you're talking about wine it's finding out what that person really enjoys and it's different for everyone. It's very subjective. I think talking about it to people it's finding what they enjoy, what, um, what they want to use it for, whether they're just having fun or whether they're a connoisseur or whether they want to just pair it with their favorite food. And so it's finding that and finding the perfect wine for that because there's a perfect wine for everything. The reason that I think it's so popular is I think that the new gener the millennials have um, something to do with it as well. I like to say they're a fickle consumer. They like to try new and interesting things. I'm not a millennial and I do as well. But I think it's the direction that we're going. But also, if you've noticed with all the cooking shows that are on TV now, Wine just falls right in line with food. I think there's a big chef-driven restaurants movement that's going on in this country now. So uh, wine is really good for food pairing. Um, that's definitely, um, I think, what the intent of wine is. So, you know, for pleasure and enjoyment is really what you should be drinking wine for. I don't think um, there are benefits, you know, there's red wine benefits, there's um, definitely lower calorie compared to a lot of cocktails that are out there, but 
you know, I think if you're drinking wine, it should be about the moment, it should be about what's in that bottle. It's a story, it's a moment in time, and I don't really think uh, it's the time to worry about health or calories. Well, I always tell people the best wine is the wine that you like to drink. So I don't get caught up in, oh, I think this wine is better than this wine. Everyone has their own taste, just like whether you want to drink Dr. Pepper or Coke. I mean, it just it's whatever fits, fits your taste. Well, it's really exciting just to, like how they said, to be able to go out in the restaurants and see our brands, you know, on the list and feel like, you know, oh, okay, this was us. We made this happen. Tracia, Aaron, and Anna were so much fun to hang out with. And let me tell you, those ladies know their spirits. To find out how to include their brands at your place, visit artisanfinewineandspirits.com to learn more. Nothing like a glass of your favorite beverage, a cuddly blanket to relieve you of the stress of the day. Well, for some, the blanket can be all it takes. If it happens to be one from Jody Bradford's collection at Wait On Me, when we come back with more Explore Tulsa. Hi, Dr. Robert Zellner here. For over 20 years, I've offered affordable, convenient eye care in Tulsa. Right now, you can get one pair of glasses or contact lenses starting at just $99 or my two-pair deal for $129. Hey, and as always, the eye exam's included. Walk-ins are always welcome. Glasses are ready in about an hour. Plus, we have over 2,000 frames to choose from. We're open seven days a week. Come see why we're voted Tulsa Best. And our drive through at 69th and Memorial makes pickup simple and easy. For the best eye care value in Tulsa, Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates. Sony and Video Revolution take you there. From space travel to world championships. Tomorrow's technology today. 4K smart TVs and the largest flat screens available. Now more than ever, you have the best seat in the world when history is made. Video Revolution. On the northwest corner, 71st and Lewis. Hi again, and thanks for making time for more Explore Tulsa. I don't know that I, we've ever mentioned this before, but my wife works with kids that have special needs in the Tulsa School District. Yeah, and Deanne told us all about these new weighted blankets that help people feel the ease of a huge loving hug. And they're made right next door at Wait On Me in Owasso. It has nothing to do with if you're making money or if you're not, and a lot of times we're not, but <laughs> it just, that, it, that's the reward in itself, is hearing that it's changing people's lives. You know, I thought we'd just do a little here and a little there and, you know, whoever needed them and it just blew up. Well, actually, um, a woman in, in a group that I was in was asking if anyone knew how to make weighted blankets. And we had made a bunch of blankets, my son and I. And so I thought, well, I can make blankets. I said, you know, I'll look into it and see if I can get it for you. I made a prototype for our daughter first. And she happened to still be awake at midnight and I put it on her and she said, Mom, I slept. I thought, well, that's pretty neat. You know, maybe she's making me feel good for doing this. And then um, I gave them to the other woman. And she messaged me the next day and said her 18-month-old slept through the night for the first time ever. A weighted blanket is a therapeutic blanket. It started out, it's been around for a couple of decades in the autism industry. And just recently, we're finding that um, more people can use them. They've helped our soldiers with PTSD in the war field and home after they get home. Um, and just, um, you have Down syndrome. Anyone that has trouble sleeping, anyone that has anxiety, um, you just put, it feels like a big hug. I have one soldier, um, she was a medic actually, and she had such trauma and PTSD from that that she could not leave her house basically. And we talked for a while, we talked with all our customers, and um, she got her blanket, we shipped it out to Canada, and I think it was two or three months later she told me I'm finally able to get on a plane to go see my grandma, and I haven't been able to do that in years. One woman had a severely autistic boy and he did not like to be touched at all. And she got him away to blanket and he started getting used to that feeling and one day walked up and gave her a hug. Those are the rewards, those are the good things. I had to make two to begin with and we just kind of winged it, I guess, you know, but our biggest thing is quality and safety. We will only use quality materials and each one of our blankets, the weight is evenly distributed throughout. Everything is micro-stitched, about a one millimeter stitch on everything. Every exterior seam has two uh, seams on it inside. And uh, the one thing we found is most of the blankets we were seeing on had the lines on both sides. It was quilted on both sides to keep those beads. Well, there's so many kids that crave the soft. They don't want that. 
So we put a full sheet on the back so you can just hug up like a regular blanket. And we use only 100% cotton because cotton is a natural fabric, it's grown, and it's not a synthetic like the polyesters. And cotton is the most breathable, so it makes it the safest. Poly pellets are plastic pellets, and they're, they have enough weight in them, and we, these are, they come in all different colors. We've had blue, we've had green, we've had clear, we've had white, and right now we've got kind of a, a gray color that's real pretty. Um, and we just take these and we measure them out per square and make sure everything is perfect on there. Some people would rather have glass, and the difference in the glass, you can see how tiny it is, um, but it only takes about half as much of this quantity as it does this. So especially when you're getting into the 20, 25 pound blankets, it's nice because it's a thinner blanket. You don't have all that bulk. And we don't put any extra batting or anything like that to make it hot and bulky because they mat up sometimes when you wash them. It, it's great. Um, the team we have is amazing. Um, they're all dedicated to doing it because it because people need them. It's not just, oh, a paycheck type of thing. Um, but we have Jen, she takes care of all the stuff, all the special stuff, the new designs that we come out with. Um, and uh, Christy, she, she's amazing too. Just all of them. I can't say a bad thing about any of them. So I think part of that helps with me being able to let go. You know, I kind of have a control over this because I just, it's my baby. And having good people in that you can trust, it makes it all worthwhile. We just have amazing people. Um, we've never really had a problem with a customer. Um, and they are so good. We have a get hug club, we call it. And we feature the pictures. They, they'll send pictures of their kids themselves, their parents, with the blankets on them. And just happy and kind of the results of what they've been doing. Some of them are sleeping. Mothers, and that's the biggest thing. Mothers are getting sleep because their kids are sleeping. Jody and her team are so wonderful, and she gave us a couple of the blankets to try out, and they've been working great. Mm, to get one for yourself or someone you care about, search for Wait On Me on Facebook. I wonder what color a blanket a princess would keep at the palace. Strange question for you to be asking, but maybe Christy Rowland at My Little Dollhouse can help us when we come back with more Explore Tulsa. Don't exercise too hard. Over-exercising stimulates hormonal changes in the body that promote fat storage. That's right. Actually, over-exercising can make you fat. When it comes to exercise, focus on maintaining an active lifestyle. Simply make a plan to move more and sit less. Establish a regular cardiovascular workout routine at least three to four times a week. Get out for a brisk walk, regular time on the treadmill, or even the elliptical. For a balanced exercise plan, look for our online video-based workout programs. Get started today by visiting wellnesslifeacademy.com. Why are we in space suits? We are traveling to the future where TVs have a contrast range between 400 nits of brighter whites and blacks as deep as 0.4 nits oh, and 10-bit yeah. color it gives us over a billion individual colors on the screen. Video Revolution already has tomorrow's TVs today with the best in Sony high dynamic range TVs. TVs with contrast and color offering more natural true to life colors? Oh yes, Video Revolution now and in the future on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Hello, lords and ladies of green country, and welcome to the with more Explore Tulsa. You've been watching way too much Game of Thrones. No, didn't you have a dollhouse when you were a little girl? Well, yeah. Yeah, I know my daughter did, and I still like to treat her like a princess. Well, parents like you will be glad to know that at my little dollhouse, all kids get treated like royalty. Fantasy is a good word. It's, we call it pretend. We say we're a place for parties, playtimes, and pretend. And you could escape reality for just a little while. You know, no matter where a kid is coming from, they get to come here, walk the runway in a princess dress, and really feel like they're the star. No, I have not always been a princess. Um, I bought my little dollhouse about a year ago. Before that, I spent 20 years in finance. I was a stockbroker and investment advisor. I had my daughter, who is now in college, I had her fifth birthday party here and fell in love with the place. It was when it first opened about 15 years ago. And just thought it was absolutely darling and thought that looked like a dream job to have something like that. Um, I retired from my career as an investment advisor in September of 2016. And 10 days after I retired, the current owner contacted me, me to see if I would be interested in buying my little dollhouse. The rest is history. Well, when you come in, obviously there's our lobby and I think it's lots of fun. We have a small boutique 
We have complimentary coffee for mom and dad or adults that stay for the parties. When we go in, we have a tea party room where we just have lots of tea sets and tea cups, uh, tea pots, pretend food that they can play with. We have a glow room that's lit by black lights and it's a secret garden where anything they wear that's white or neon really glows in there. Um, we have our royal nursery where they can go up and play with baby dolls. And favorite of the boys is what we call, and some of the dads too, we call it our cub cave where we have video games and they get to kind of be out of the girly action in there playing some video games. The uh, favorite part for everybody is our costume room. We have over a hundred costumes, princesses, princes, superheroes, where the kids get to dress up. We have lots of accessories and then of course we have a runway and every party has a fashion show. We have princesses and um, we have some of the favorite Disney princesses like Cinderella, Snow White, Belle, uh, we have Moana now, we have um, Alice in Wonderland, um, we're about to have a Prince Charming, which will be really exciting. Um, but yes, we have lots of princesses, I think we have 10 to choose from, uh, that come in full costume, beautiful girls that are dressed and, and fully embody the whole princess spirit. The parties that have a princess, um, the princess leads them in a dance, teaches them a special dance sits and drinks tea with them or pretend tea. Um, they take a picture, they take lots of pictures. The princess leads them in the fashion show, so they're really an important part of that party. In addition to birthday parties, we have uh, weekly play times. Some of them with princesses, some without, but they just get to come and kind of have full run of the place um, just to play for an hour. And you can just drop into those so there doesn't have to be a special reservation or anything. Absolutely. We have a lot of repeat customers, so I would like to think we're doing something right. Um, the girls just love the environment. Little girls that come in for the first time, it just takes their breath away and they want to stand at the door and just look at everything. Um, but I really think they feel special when they're here. We try to pamper them, do their fingernails, a little bit of light makeup, do their hair in a princess way, and it just really makes them feel special. And who doesn't want to feel special? Yeah, this is a place for really women of all ages, girls to grandmas. Last week I actually ha asked, had a grandmother ask if she could have a tea party here because it just kind of appeals to the inner princess in all of us to just be surrounded by pink and sparkle and pretty things. We feel like every girl is a princess, is royalty, and should be treated as such. And we try to just really pamper them and show them how beautiful they are, uh, both inside and out when they're here. And hopefully they'll carry that with them as they leave and remember that somebody thinks they're really special. Absolutely. It is a happy place for me to come every single day. I love my job. And it's so fun getting con to connect with moms, getting to connect with lots of little kids. I know many of their names and they come in and say, hi, Miss Christy. And they come to play and it's really lots of fun. Christy's eyes just lit up when she talks about the dreams she brings to life for so many families. To learn about upcoming playtimes or how to schedule your next party, search for My Little Dollhouse Tulsa on Facebook or Google. When I pretend to be royalty, I always include a band playing some good old classic rock. Then you're in luck, your highness. I'm glad you're finally willing to bend the knee. Next up on Explore Tulsa, we meet a couple of the guys behind Grand Lake's favorite band, Lickety Split. We do podiatry, we do dental oral appliances, we do women's health, we see children, pediatrics, and um, overall family care. I'm a primary care provider for Sooner Care. We're also taking commercial insurances now as well. Any given day I might do a well child on a four day old baby and then see a 72 year old who's here because they need to follow up on their sleep study. Patients seem to like the idea where they can just come here and they don't have to worry about going to all these different specialists, whether they need a sleep study or a CPAP machine or diabetic shoes or an oral appliance, we help bring all that to the table for them. And especially with oral appliances, custom fit by a specially trained dentist and we have Dr. Bennett who's the best in the business. It has been my dream to be able to work with all the specialties together. There are not many places in the United States that have all parts of this together. It's, it's, to me, it's amazing, and that's truly how sleep and patient care should be.
Hello, and thanks for sticking around for more fun with Explore Tulsa. You said it, sister. Ain't nothing more fun than some good music. And our next guest brings all the good times when you stop in at Grand Lake. When working with RSU's Living Grand on Grand Lake, we met some guys who have a big time keeping everyone on the dance floor. I had a guy come up to me, and he's like, Jason, you know, you guys are good. I like your band. I like what you do. He goes, but I only come to you because of the crowd. There's a lot of ladies here. And he legitimately looked me in the eye and said it, and he was so serious. So I still took it as a compliment. Shane Hilburn, our lead guitar player, me and him, we started this band 13 years ago, the Liquidy Split Band. And kind of what happened is I just left another band he had as well. He knew a couple guys, I knew a couple guys, and he just kind of, hey, let's try this. I saw something on a Facebook post, it says something about we're trying out drummers or something, and I just, I showed up at the gig and tried out. When you leave a band, people are still calling for gigs, you know, they want to hire you, so you're like, well, I don't have a band, but I know a lot of people, let me see, and the next thing you know, you're getting booked every weekend, and you just, you figure out what your name's going to be, and what kind of style you're going to play, and we chose to do a variety. You get hired more and you stay a lot more busy if you have a variety of music that you play. You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. Too much love, drive a man insane. You blow my way. We literally took a pen and a pad, and we just sat there and wrote a bunch of names. Our wives was with us, and uh, we had like a hundred names, you know, and you're thinking, well, heck, that's been used. I've heard of that. I've heard of this. I've heard of that. I've heard of this. So, uh, we just had one, Lickety Split, you know, it's fast, you know, we were upbeat music, so uh, that's kind of why we did that, and we just kind of like it, and it clicked, and it kind of fit us, so I guess, I guess that's how we picked it. <laughs> you know, we just wrote about a hundred down, and that one seemed like us. So the personalities in our band have matched so well. Man, just great personalities, really good guys to get along with. Um, the great chemistry of the band. Because one of the first things we did, when me and Shane, the lead guitar player, like I said, we, we started it. The guys he knew and the guys that I knew, we basically came up with a chemistry to where there's no leader of a band. We run it as a democracy. So even a, a, a place that wants to hire us, we call each other. It's a lot of phone calling. Do you guys want to play it? Do you want to take it? Do you want to drive that far? Do you want to stay home? So literally every gig is, is like a vote. Everything we buy is a vote. So chemistry-wise, it works good because we set out a goal to just be you know, locally known, play as much as we can at the best places we can, closest to home, which close to home for us is Grand Lake. And that's what's so cool about us is because 90% of the gigs we play, we play right here on Grand Lake. As far as the group goes, I mean, we play everything. I mean, we do red dirt, classic rock, modern rock. You know, we do everything but rap, and we DJ our breaks with rap and hip hop because that's what the ladies dance to. So uh, we cover all genres in a sense. Um, one of our best, I would say, we're really good at uh, red dirt and classic rock. You know, Leonard Skinner, Freebird. We do a rendition of Freebird that you've never heard of. One of my favorite songs is Freebird, the one we do. Um, I think it's like a debut kind of thing. We have a fiddle player that'll actually come in with a uh, intro and a lead, and then our lead guitar player is one of the best in the area. Tears it up, tears it up. So great, great blues and great classic rock and country as well. We've been fortunate of being consistent with our band name that we usually pack the places we play out now. It didn't start out that way. I mean, we've really played some gigs where we played to the lady at the door, you know, legions and BFWs, you know. So I would say the experience, you know, we've had a lot of people propose on stage, ask, hey, can I borrow your mic? And propose and then turn around and play their wedding a year later, you know. So the experience of people dancing, the fun they have, you know, and just, uh, the overall feeling of the chemistry of guys when you're on, you know, you have bad nights, but on a good night and the PA is just working perfect, everybody's here, you just can't beat that feeling. When uh, this place gets packed out or any venue gets packed out, yeah, I mean, it feels like we're doing a rock show and I love that vibe and energy that it uh, gives off. 
So yeah, it's not money at our level, you know, because we're just, it's fine friends and family. So I would say just the feeling of playing music, the love for music. Jason and his buddies with the band Lickety Split are so much fun to watch. And when they play some of their line dances, I can't help but jump right in there. Ooh, hold your horses, Stevie. You'll have uh, plenty of time to catch them again soon. Just visit their Facebook page for upcoming shows or send them a message to book the band for your next private party. Plus, look for Lickety Split and much more fun on Grand by watching RSU TV's Living Grand on Grand Lake each Thursday night at 8 p.m. Jason even said that I could sit in for a set and jam with the boys. He doesn't know that you don't play or sing, huh? Th that they didn't come up? No. Yeah. <laughs> Stick around. There's more Explore Tulsa just ahead. Take charge of your health. We are what we put into our bodies. We approach medicine from a unique standpoint. Rather than treating only the symptoms of an illness, we work to find the root cause and promote wellness of the entire body. Our clinic offers complete assessment and treatment programs, including hormone replacement therapy, osteopathic manipulative therapy, and genetic DNA testing. It all starts with a medical evaluation. Contact us today to begin your path to wellness. Send me some love. Look at us. We woke up one morning with every song that ever mattered to anyone. So now what? Music's meant to be heard out loud, where your life happens, where you dance, where you love, and where you live. When everyone has every song ever written, what matters most is how you listen. Come here for yourself at Video Revolution. Be sure and join us next week when we go ballistic and have fun with Frank and Angie at their new fun house. Special thanks to Tracia Forrest and her staff at Artisan Wine and Spirits for their work in highlighting Oklahoma winemakers. Thanks too to Jody Bradford and those helping her create peace of mind with weighted blankets at Wait On Me. And special thanks to Christy Rowland for giving kids and parents a place to pretend with My Little Dollhouse. Plus thanks to Jason Faulkner and the rest of the guys in the band Lickety Split. Keep those good times coming. Remember, if you miss any of the show, you can always catch us at ExploreTulsa.com. As always, each week we feature the people, places, and attractions that make us proud to call Tulsa our home. And hey, don't forget to like us on Facebook and share with us someone you think Tulsa should know more about. Plus remember, Explore Tulsa is brought to you by Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Stop by, say hello to Ron and all the guys for all your home entertainment needs. And Explore Tulsa is also proudly brought to you by Dr. Robert Zollner and Associates. And with Tulsa's best eye care value with two locations, 33 30 South Harvard and 69th and Memorial. And we welcome our newest sponsors, Drs. Mark and Michelle Sherwood at 61st and Sheridan. Remember, your journey to whole body healing and wellness begins with the Functional Medical Institute. Well, that's all the time we have for you on this week's show, but we'll see you next week right here on Explore Tulsa. Mm -hmm.